Hello everyone, welcome to HappyMath.com. So this time uh, we will demonstrate your final project number two. Okay, so please look at this data. So A column representing data part and B column rep representing gender part here. Okay, so you all have to organize the data and then uh, which gender responded basically. Okay, so after that, so the first step is you need to find the mean value. So I'm going to type mean. So X and mean commander is average. So I'm going to type average. And then clear all this data. And then enter. And now 75.54 is the mean for this data set. Of course you will have different data because you have your own unique data. Now. I'm going to create one more column here using the if function. Okay, so please click here, so auto sum, and then click more function, then you will see if here. Okay, so then click, then you will see this table, then what do you do? You click this table, and then if that is bigger than 75.54, then if it is true, then you are print greater than or equal to otherwise just less than okay and then click OK then it will create that everything so which data is the less than the mean which data is greater than or equal to the mean basically okay and now I just uh, click so that you can complete this table here okay then based on this now we can uh, let's create a table now click insert and click pivot table. Alright, then it highlight um, table number one already. So I'm gonna just uh, using existing worksheet and then display around here. Then OK. Then you will see this pivot table range here. So this time we will do gender as a column and then color one which is um, less than what equal to the mean as a row and the either one just to put into value okay so I just choose gender this time okay then as you see you show this table here then we are almost ready to complete our second part of your project basically okay so basically we want to find out all these probability so to see a little better, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay, then now uh, most of the data shown, table, and then uh, question here. So first of all, the A answer. So we wanna find out the probability of the male. So you just make um. So I'm gonna type A. male then that equal to total of the male which is right here and divided by total number like this okay then that will be the answer for this problem and now female so female equal to total for female which is here and divided by total number right here so that's the answer and C uh, probability greater than or equal to okay so that's the basically this row here so equal to so this number divided by total now fourth less than so probability less than so that equal to total for less than which is this row here and divide by 50 and now from E here so A, B, C, D was pretty simple probability for E now E shows that conditional probability so E probability uh, male given that given that greater than or equal to okay so it means now we only care 
this row here. From here, we want to find out how many are male. So equal to male divided by total for greater than or equal to. So that's it. Okay. And now, uh, f probability less than given that female. Okay. So given the female, which, so we only get female this time, so 22 will be the uh, total. So out of here, less than, so which is here, so 8 over 22. Okay. Then now, next one is the uh, probability female given that less than the mean. Okay, so probability female given that less than the mean. Okay. Then now we are only carrying caring about less than row here. So female female is this, this many and then total four twenty one. So equal to female over total four less than. And that's the answer. And now it shows the are less than the mean and female independent event. Okay. So for H you have two different choices here. You wanna find out less than and less than given that female or female and female given that less than. If those probabilities are equal to each other, then you can say they are independent event. Otherwise, it dependent event. Okay. Then now compare female and the female given that uh, female given that less than. So, so female. And the female given the less than. So as you see, these two values are not equal to each other. So different way. So less than. And then less than given the female. So those two probability values are also not equal to each other. So then now we can conclude they are not independent event. Okay, so you can choose either one. So I may choose so probability female equal to 0.44 and then probability female given that less than that equal to 0.38 38095 are not equal to each other. Therefore, uh, these two events are not independent. So that will be the answer for this problem. Okay? So that's all for your problem number two. And I hope this video helped you to understand what to do. And then I will see you again with different video. Alright, thank you. Bye.